What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to divide exponents that have different bases and where the exponents or powers themselves are also different, right? Now, in order to do this, you need to rewrite one of your numbers so the bases match up or so that the exponents or the powers match up, okay? So the way you do that is if you notice in this problem anyways, we have a 3 on the bottom and a 9 on top, right? Now we can do something kind of clever here. This nine right here, we can rewrite the nine as three squared, right? Because nine is equal to three squared. And if we do that, you'll see that we'll have the same base, right? Because we'll have a three there and a three there. So we'll have our bases match up. And then we would be able to divide or simplify these exponents like normal, okay? So let's do that. That'll be our first step, right? Trying to make the bases match up. So again, I'm gonna rewrite this nine as three squared. I'm gonna write it as three squared, okay? And then we still have this exponent, this four out here. And then that's gonna go over this bottom number right here, three raised to the sixth power, okay? So something spectacular just happened. Again, we have the same base, right? So now we can simplify these like normal, okay? So let's do that. So here we have uh, 3 squared in parentheses raised to the fourth power, right? Now, whenever you have an exponent raised to another exponent, in order to simplify that, you just have to multiply those together, okay? So 2 times 4 is equal to 8, right? So here we really have 3 raised to the eighth power. So let's write that down. 3 raised to the eighth power, right? And that's going to go over this one down here, 3 raised to the sixth power. Okay, so again, you can see we have the same base, right? So in order to basically divide these two, uh, we have a three here, we have a three here, so you just keep the three, right? And then you just subtract the exponents, right? And the one that's on top, you always write first, okay? So we have an eight right there, right? So write that right there. And then you just subtract away the bottom one, which is a six, so minus six. Okay, so then this is gonna be equal to three, right, three, um, and eight minus six is equal to two. Okay, so it's gonna be equal to three raised to the second power, which is the same thing as three squared, which is the same thing as nine, okay? So either one of these answers right there would work. Okay, so now let's just do a few more examples and then I think you're gonna start catching on to the pattern. Okay, so here is our next example. So we have 25 raised to the third power over 125 raised to the first power. Okay, so again, we have different bases, right, and different exponents. Now, one thing that you might notice is 25 and 125, those are both multiples of five, right? So 25, that's, here, let's write it out. 25, that's equal to five times five, which is five squared, right? And 125, that's equal to 5 times 5 times 5, which is 5 to the third power, right? 5 cubed. So I can rewrite both of these numbers right here as 5 squared and 5 cubed, and then you would see we would have the same base, right? We would have a 5 on top and a 5 on the bottom, right? So let's do that. So 25, I'm going to rewrite that again as 5 squared, okay? And then we still have this 3, this exponent right there, so keep it, and then that's going to go over. Uh, 125, which is 5 cubed, so let's write, rewrite that as 5 cubed, and then this is raised to the first power, right? But really, whenever you raise anything to the first power, it doesn't change it, right? So 125 raised to the first power is still just 125. So it's the same thing here. 5 cubed raised to the first power is still just 5 cubed, okay? So you could just leave it as 5 cubed, okay? But once again, something mathematical has happened. We got the same base, right? We got a five on top, five on the bottom, so we have the same base, so now we can simplify these. Okay, so starting with the top right here, uh, we have five squared in parentheses raised to the third power, right? So again, in order to simplify the exponents right here, all you have to do is multiply those, right? So two times three is equal to six, right? So here we really have five to the sixth power. So let's write that down. 5 to the 6th power, and that's going to go over this one right here, 5 to the 3rd power, right? 5 cubed, okay? Now, again, we have the same base, and so in order to divide these, 
uh, got a five there, got a five there, so just keep the five, and then you just subtract the exponents from one another, and again, you always write the one that's on top first. So we're gonna write six minus three, okay? So then here we're gonna have five, right? And then six minus three, that's equal to three. So then here we have five cubed, right? Which again is equal to 125, all right? So either one of these answers right there would work. All right, let's just try a few more slightly more complicated examples. All right, so here is our next example. So here we have 64 raised to the negative fourth power over four raised to the negative second power, all right? So again, you wanna see if you can rewrite your bases so they match each other, right? And in this case, both of these numbers right here, four and 64, they're both multiples of four, okay? So 64, that's the same thing as four cubed. So we're gonna replace this 64 right here with four cubed, all right? So let's do that because then it'll match up with this four down here, right? So 64, again, is the same thing as four cubed. And then we're still raising it to this negative fourth power right here. And then that's gonna go over four to the negative second power. Okay, once again, math and magic has happened because we have the same bases, right? So then that means we can simplify this, all right? So first of all, four uh, cubed raised to the negative fourth power. Again, I got a power raised to another power, so I just multiply these two together, right? So three times negative four is equal to negative 12. So here we're gonna have four raised to the negative 12th power. And then that's gonna go over uh, this one right here, four raised to the negative second power, okay? So in order to divide these now, uh, we have the same base, right? Got a four there, got a four there. So keep the four and then just subtract the exponents right here. So we're gonna have, again, starting with the top one, negative 12, minus the bottom one, which is negative two. Minus negative two. Okay, so then this is gonna be equal to four, uh, and then negative 12 minus negative two, that's the same thing as negative 12 plus two. Okay, and that's equal to negative 10, right? Negative 10. Okay, so we have four raised to the negative 10th power. Now, in order to simplify this negative exponent, all you have to do is basically rewrite this whole thing in a fraction. And this whole part goes in your denominator, okay? So then we're gonna have, this is gonna be equal to, uh, we're gonna have four raised to the, now whenever you toss it to the denominator down here, your exponent turns positive. So instead of having negative 10, it's gonna turn into positive 10, okay? So four to the negative 10th power, is gonna turn into four to the positive 10th power on the bottom, and then you always, always, always just put a one on the top, okay? So this is gonna be one over four to the 10th power. Okay, now you can leave your answer like that, or if you wanted to, you can plug uh, four to the 10th into your calculator, and you would get 1,048,576. Okay, so four to the 10th, is the same thing as that. And then you would still just have the, the one on the top in your numerator, okay? So you can simplify it to that right there if you wanted to. So hopefully that wasn't too bad. Let's try one last example. And instead of changing the bases, we're going to play with the exponents. All right, so here's our next example. So we have 13 squared over five to the fourth power, okay? now. As you can see, the bases, we can't really rewrite either one so it matches the other one, right? And that's gonna be common when your bases are prime like they are here. So instead, we have to try and change the exponents, okay? We have to, have, we have to match them up somehow, okay? Now, one thing we can do here is, since we have a two on top, we can change the four because four we can rewrite as two times two, basically, right? But we're gonna write this in a slightly different way, okay? So five to the fourth, let's write it here, five to the fourth power, I'm going to rewrite that as five squared squared, okay? So as you can see, I have a two here and a two here, right? So we have an exponent raised to another exponent, right? So in order to simplify this, you just multiply those together. So two times two is equal to four. 
which is what we have right here, right? So literally, I'm just replacing the 4 with 2 times 2, like this. Because when we do that, well, we have a 2 out here, right? Which will match the 2 out here, okay? So let's simplify this, right? So on top, we have 13 to the second power, and then that's going to go over 5 to the fourth power. But again, I'm going to rewrite it like this down here. So we're going to have 5 squared and that whole thing squared, okay? So again, I'm just replacing this 4 with this 2 times 2, right? This 2 raised to this 2, okay? And now, as you can see, we have a 2, positive 2, up here and a positive 2 down there. Right? So now that we have the same exponent, now we can simplify this. Right? So then this is going to be equal to, uh, so on top we're going to have 13 to the second power, and then that's going to go over. Uh, this inside part in the parentheses, 5 squared, we can simplify that to 25. Right? So here we really have 25 raised to the second power. Right? This 2 is still right there. Okay? So again, we still have the same exponent, so in order to divide these now, all we have to do is divide the bases, right? So 13 divided by 25, and then we're going to raise this whole thing to this exponent right here. So we have a 2 there, we have a 2 there, so we keep the same 2 right there, okay? Now we can simplify what's inside of these parentheses right here, right? You can do some long division or you could just plug it into your calculator. So 13 divided by 25, that's equal to 0 0.52, okay? So we're going to have 0 0.52 raised to the second power. And then this, if you plug it into your calculator uh, one more time, you're going to get 0 0.2704, okay? Not the prettiest answer, I know, I'm sorry, I apologize. But the process is still the same, okay? So honestly, either one of these two answers would probably work. Maybe your teacher might even accept this answer, okay? But in case they don't, you can still simplify it to this or to this. So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below. Also, there's a couple playlists attached that I think you'll find helpful. So definitely check those out, and I'll see you there.